Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on the barb. We're gonna start zero to hero and pretty much we're gonna move on from there. Our zero to hero will start with acquiring an axe that I'm gonna go ahead and buy on the market. Yes, you heard it right, the zero to hero with the felon axe. The felon axe is my favorite weapon. We're gonna search up one, which is fairly cheap and effective. I'll look for epic quality and hopefully I'll be able to buy one which is going to be cheap as as cheap as it could get. But epic quality is kind of expensive, I'm going to be honest. So instead, we're going to buy the cheapest one which is right here for 95 gold. Investment for today's video is going to be 9500 gold, extreme budget barbarian build, call it anything you like. Pretty much the next thing is going to, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the squire and pretty much the stuff that you have here available basically just equip what the you know game get to offer you you know what i mean so pretty much this is it this is what we got this is what you will start with if you go to esquire and try and get it so pretty much for today's video we have a felon act the rest come from the squire and if it comes from the squire it means it's free it means it's zero it means you can get it the exact same way by going to the squire and acquiring with no investment whatsoever so pretty much we're gonna go into the goblin caves we're gonna move on step by step we're gonna clear up room by room hopefully we will get some upgrades i'm gonna leave stamps for each and every upgrade we make as well as i'm gonna leave stamps for each and every pvp we're gonna have we will try to commit to pvp fights for the build we're gonna use the combination of axe specialization savage robust and potion chugger even though we only have two mm, pots the this still will actually affect it quite a lot the, our sole commitment was the blue fell axe which we which we just found on the market for only 95 gold basically that's it as a skin we're gonna use the what the fuck is this i forgot werewolf oh like lucan lucan uh let me know if i misspell it or mispronounce it because i'm not even sure how to pronounce this lycan Lucan, I don't know. Anyway, basically, let's hop into the video. Let's hop into our first game and let's clap some chicks. The currently the only map that is available for solos is Goblin Caves, and that's exactly where we're gonna go. Anyway, let's hop in. We hit pretty hard for naked barb. 115 damage per headshot is a lot. I'm gonna be honest. Hopefully, we'd be able to kill someone and take their meds because it would absolutely suck. All right, we're finally in. There's one thing I realized when I was loading up is I don't have crush which is a stupid fucking mistake yes this is a really shit mistake first thing we got is the boots upgrade in the first game which is something to work with unfortunately we would have to spend some time and effort to open shit up because well our resourcefulness absolutely suck it's my negative uh, 3.9 percent regular interaction speed but it's a part of the game pretty much we're gonna do one step at a time we're gonna move on slowly we're not gonna be in no rush we're gonna kill mobs we're gonna clear up room my room and hopefully we would be able to get in at least one or two pvps while it's not mandatory to get into pvp fights i think it would kind of make sense to experience fight at each and every state here we go we got another pair we're gonna buy we're gonna get the boots uh for a sole reason uh, so that we'll be able to sell them if we make it out alive and then if you make it out of life, we will be able to actually spend for our future upgrade. Nice, we got another upgrade, this. And we got a decent saleable. Also, we got 800, 800, huh? 8 gold, just 8 gold. Which isn't bad. So basically, if you want to find a player spawn, you can pick a direction and just go there. In normals, usually, there is pretty much... Fuck! How did it die in one shot? I don't even know. But uh, the fact remains, that mob died in literally one hit. Nice, we got a little comeback. So, I'm not gonna use any pots as for now, but the, here is a little thing. We have a bottle spawns, we have like bandages that's gonna spawn right here. Ass. <laughs> Absolute ass cheeks. It's fine. Okay, so we have a player spawn that spawned right here, that which is good to know, but uh, it's been already four minutes, so this person could already rotate it. God knows where, so first thing first, we gotta find this person and fuck with it. Take his stuff and move on from there. Like I already mentioned before, one step at a time, no need to rush things. He didn't go here. He in fact did. Yeah. 
Okay. One headshot. I'm not sure where did my first hit go, but it's okay. I didn't even know this pod was possible until I encountered this guy, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna take his riveted gloves because I think they're pretty sick. I'm gonna use his uh, necklace instead. I'm gonna take his meds because we need. I'm gonna take the lockpick for future. <laughs> the lockpick are gonna be handy, trust me. Like, they're gonna help out a lot eventually because we're gonna come across chests that we would need to open up. And as for the rest, we ain't got shit. I don't see shit here. Oh, okay. So pretty much if you're a little greedy and you don't want to spend your gold, uh, I mean, or your pots, we have a shrine, which is very close. We're going to move on directly there, and then we're going to move on from there. If you would be needing, if you would be in need of some cheese, like, oh, fuck. Okay. He got hit by that thing. Okay, that's the shrine I was talking about. It was not intentional for me to getting hit by this mob. Absolutely the last thing I would want to happen. I wasn't able to loot that guy, but um oh well, it is what it is, you know. Tell me you have some mess, brother. Walkie lock, huh? <laughs> oh wow. Holy cow. Yo. Hold on a minute. Wait, why do I kill mobs in one hit? Hello? Is that, is that intentional? <laughs> Do you know how OP it is to actually one-shot mobs in one hit? That's like... Oh, wow. Jesus. We got meds. And we got bullets with additional move speed. Massive upgrade. Big W, massive upgrade. Here we go. This. Okay. Luck peak, vitality. Agility increases your regular interaction speed and how quickly you interact with stuff around the map. So if you stackpile agility, don't get surprised that you will be able to open doors a lot faster than usual. Because that's just how agility works. The resourcefulness, on the other hand, gives twice as much um regular interaction compared to agility. So if you stack resourcefulness, you can really open doors in like fucking half a second. Anyway, it wasn't a bad first rate. That's actually pretty good. Let's go back into the lobby and let's actually check the upgrades that we have made so far. So pretty much we've started with Felon Axe. We have, now we have a Bear Pendant with um, just one Wigger. We have our Gloves with three strands and buff duration. We have two Rings, one of which gives one true physical. We have Heavy Leather Leggings which gives Wigger. And we have a pair of Boots that gives three additional move speed. We don't need these two and so we're gonna sell them. So pretty much... How do I want to calculate? Basically, here I have a free space. That should be enough. I'm gonna stockpile gold and then let's sell and basically all the gold that you will sell will go into this little bags, which is best. Okay, one step at a time. I don't want this to get overfilled. Need to buy another few bags. Okay. That's basically the goal that we acquired in our first game. So pretty much we're gonna drag out the cheese and uh, use it later down the line. Okay, we're gonna throw back our stuff right here. And that's what we are left with. This is the current kit that we acquired after playing just simple one game. Anyway, basically let's hop into the next game and let's clap some chicks. There is a guy right there and he lost all my HP to fucking mobs, bro. I'm so fucking good at this game. But anyway, it doesn't change the fact that I'm gonna go and try and challenge him. That's basically what's gonna be the plan. 
Listen, gotta experience PvP at each and every stage, so I'm not gonna go and just hide from opportunity to fight players, you know. So if there is a chance to fight, I'll go and fight. Aw oh, man, this mommy is on me. Not anymore, it's not, it's not to turn around, fucking, okay. Wow. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Holy cow. Sometimes Fallen Axe is so hard to use, but um, it's okay. We haven't really played that much today, so it's gonna be a warm-up game, kinda. <laughs> Sometimes it's gonna be like that. Sometimes it's just gonna be so freaking hard to land those hits. It would feel like a mission impossible. But we already got so much mats that we just... We don't even give a shit, you know. It's like... There is a shrine, by the way, right here to my left. Unbelievable dog shit, bro. Fucking spiders absolutely kidding me. I heard some noise. I wonder who that is. Withered? Oh yeah, it is a withered. One more hit. Did you? Yeah, sometimes they kill really fast. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> I would assume it's mainly because of the headshot. And the headshot do make a lot of damage. Understandable. So far we didn't really got that many upgrades this game, I'm surprised. But at least we got some PvP, so that's something to work with. <laughs> Wow, I'm so bad at this game. You really gotta hug people with the fucking Felon Axe, and if you don't hug, you just can't plan a hit. If people doesn't want to fight you, it's so fucking hard to hit. GG. Alright, let's see what they're up to. Hopefully we get some cheese. Oh, not bad. Actually pretty good. We're gonna take syllables. Later down the line, we would use the gold for upgrades. Alright, what about the bard? Hmm, okay. They all got a little bit of everything. <laughs> and nothing particular. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll sort it out and I'll equip whatever there is in my stash. I don't want it right now spend time on anything other than try and make sure that I have the best cheese. But yeah, there is a definitely already upgrade. I have no idea where the blue portal is, so I might as well go red. I also have a task there. If you've never been in the hell, this is pretty much what your experience is gonna be like. Because <laughs> I haven't really played much hell either. But I do know the basics, at least where you should go and what you should do. Alright. Let's see what we are up to. <laughs> Bitch! Okay, this is an right. <laughs> it's fine. I always want to mess with this guy though, but um, basically, if you mess up, you get a hit. So don't get a hit. Simple as that. You just gotta move left and right. And try to avoid getting hit. Simple as that. Okay. That wasn't that hard. Oh, I think we got an upgrade right here. Biss. Action speed beats move speed. I mean, max health. <laughs> like, higher your action speed, higher your attack speed's gonna be. So, which is actually gonna be pretty good. Yet. I think I may have aggroed way too many mobs. Oh fuck! Yo, this mob doesn't even care about the the uh, the nightmare mob. Does not give a shit about the savage roar. Basically, what savage roar does, it scares the mobs away, makes them in a fear state, and they just start walking. Ah, no, no, no! Fuck this place, bro. I need to kill a bunch of dogs. I mean the um, hounds or whatever the fuck they called. For the task, I need to kill five. But I never end up doing that. 
Hopefully we'd come across more of those eventually and maybe we would get some upgrades. This is pretty much it. So that's the final room, that's the final boss I need to kill to get out of here. <laughs> Kinda. That thing right there is a centaur. And that fucking centaur could clap your cheeks, so if you don't, don't be careful. I could try and chase him, but I wanna fight him. Fuck, I went wrong direction. We saw an axe is a little bit harder, by the way. Because you you ain't got no range. Oh my god. It's fine. Yeah, I'm really not used to trying to mess. Ah, oh, went wrong direction. Well, I got hit twice. Have to be careful here. GG. <laughs> okay, I actually got it. I went to the wrong direction three times. God damn. By the way, I just got a hoof. Which is quite rare. Basically, you would need a hoof later down the line for the task line. So it's actually good to have that. We gotta dip the freak out of here. This is the way. <laughs> Alright, not bad. So pretty much after selling everything, this is what we're left with. We got a couple of upgrades, we got a frost amulet, we got a better ring with additional, and we got a little bit of extra gold. I left some cheese in the bottom for my task in the future. Alright, we haven't come across anyone just yet, I'm kind of surprised, so... It's gonna suck. Because I do want to test the power of this build that I have in my hands. I'm already starting to have the combination of a little bit of everything. Additional physical, action, move speed. Pretty much all those stats is exactly what you're looking for on a barb. We have someone here. I don't have Achilles. Fuck. It's gonna be hard to catch him. But it's still gonna be doable, I believe. He's probably have another door here, right? Yeah, he does. It was a headshot, but um... Nope. Fuck, man. I wish I had Crush. He would be dead here. It's okay, though. Mm, do I really want to spend time chasing the Ranger who is just faster and has 20 doors ahead of him? Probably not. Oh, we have someone ahead. I wonder what the guy is up to. Let's go clap his cheeks. I'm a barb at the end of the day, this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, he hit my arm. And I hit his head. GG. Bro, I've traveled the whole map, finally. Finally we got some dead mobs. One. Two. Fuck! <laughs> GG. Okay, nice jump. Alright. Well... <laughs> How are you supposed to catch up, Red? I guess a few persistence now, maybe. But, um... It's okay. There is a fighter in the lobby that I wanna fuck with. And a barb. But definitely not the rat that doesn't have jack shit. I could have extracted right here and then, but, um... Yup, we got someone to fuck with. <laughs> the guy didn't last long enough. Okay, I have one more friendly. Fuck, that is the fighter that I wanna fuck with. Shit. I gotta kill this guy first. He doesn't seem to have that much health. Oh. Step bro, I'm stuck. Haha. <laughs> GG. The fighter decided to use second win? Hmm. Freak. That means that he probably wouldn't want to fight me. Because he just messed up a fat fingered... The wrong button. Haha. <laughs> it's probably the case here. I'll try to... Fight the fighter, but uh, I doubt it. I, I doubt that's gonna happen. I think he's just simply gonna run away. 
Oh, we got three kills so far, which is something to work with. Our zero to hero is starting to get together. GG. Fighter got away. Oh well. What could be done, you know what I mean? That's okay. Alright, well, we got three kills and we got some gold. That's something, you know what I mean. No shot, bro. I literally was there a second ago. This is the guy that I'd really like to kill. He had two good pieces. They're not very expensive. We probably would be able to afford them right now, but uh, still. I want to try and get my cheese from killing players and not from the gold that I acquired. Honestly, I might as well just throw everything here. Because my kit kind of already got together. Like, at this point, like, I will be able to afford the full kit with all the gold that I was able to save up from the Zero to Hero. Pretty much, I feel like we already have maybe six to seven hundred gold, and six to hundred gold is gonna be enough to afford the full set. So, yeah, it's not bad, but still, we're gonna try and get more players down with this build. Until we make a really good kid, or until we die, or until I get tired. <laughs> Pretty much we already have everything. We need a chess piece, some form of padded or northern full tunic. One or two would be actually kind of helpful. Ideally we get f action speed. Bro, 75 gold. <laughs> Did you guys? That's it. The <laughs> challenge is over. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I still want to go and get more kills. All right, my guy looking pretty sexy. <laughs> I think maybe I should go with Achilles. Rage plus Achilles. Nah, I'll keep Savage. But I'm definitely gonna play with uh, Crush instead of the double damage perks. Because I feel like I already have way too much damage at this point. All right, this time around, we're actually in the high roller, so we're likely to encounter more good players. We're likely to face veterans of Dark and Darker, and um, that wouldn't be just, uh, you know, free-to-play newbies. But it's okay, listen, we all started somewhere. Oh, <laughs> we have a rogue. The strongest class in Dark and Darker, by the way. The best class in Dark and Darker. Okay, that's gonna be a dead end. Savage. One hit. Two hit. Three hits. Chichi. Actually, he took way more hits than I thought he would. I'll assume I hit his shoulder a couple of times. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's see what the guy has. Okay. Pretty good. Yo, one trans and two action speed. Currently, the two perfect stats for the Adventure Tunic gonna be 750, and this tunic is slightly cheaper, so I sold it for around 600 gold. Honestly, I might as well replace the Northern Full Tunic for Adventure Tunic, because it's not gonna slow me down, it's gonna give me health. It's not gonna give me action speed, but uh, I'm gonna be faster, and being fast is really important, especially if you're playing with Fallen X. So yeah, fuck it. Might as well replicate and do the exact same thing and use the um, loose shrouders because they're not gonna slow me down and they're gonna give me some good stats so at the end of the day i might have a little less health but that's okay because one i'm gonna be faster and two if you're faster it's gonna be a lot easier to land hits when you're slow like you can only fight other barbarians or fighter but you wouldn't be able to fight rogues, rangers. So pretty much on the barp you can make a decent kit which will allow you to fight every single class in the game. Someone was here by the way. Looks like we have a bard. A bard and a warlock somewhere. Because I heard the warlock but this guy is trying to fuck with me first. Well, I'd be down to fuck with the warlock but a little later once I'm done with the um, bard. Or it all depends. We'll see. <laughs> well, that didn't work. It's okay. Let's go fuck the bard up. By the way, that bard is kind of dangerous, though. Like, you gotta be very careful, especially when it comes to fighting other bards. Because they have Shriek of Weakness, and the Shriek of Weakness is way too OP. One. Two. One more hit. GG. 
fuck? That did way too much damage. Wait a minute, hold on. The freaking bat is terrifying. Is that like an evil version of bat or something? I think this is it. Nightmare version of bat. Holy cow! Bro, this shit is terrifying. Shit. Oh my god, GG, I'm so fucking dead. <laughs> no, I'm not dead, but I gotta use the pod. One more hit, I will die. Holy cow, bro, since since when this game became a horror game. Also, I'm not allowed to hit the shield of that mob because he will repause and fucking one-tap me. That will also suck a dick. Unfortunately, there is no shrines here. Fucking playing with the fire right now. Okay, phew. This thing down, I feel a lot better now. GG. <laughs> Bro, I'm not feeling well sometimes, especially when it comes to PvE. I usually die a lot more often to mobs than I die to players. Because I know, just like, I don't like PvE shit. <laughs> okay. Let's see what he has. Okay, Blue Raper. That's 200 gold right there. And Straw Hut. Cost like with a good stats around 150 200 pretty easily. A lot more people start to play a bard, and the value of the item went up. Price to demand, you know what I mean. I want to get the cloak because it's pretty good. Better pair of shoes. Mm, I want to take more of his stuff. Oh no, the warlock is in my ass. <laughs> I spent 75 gold on this chess piece, so I might as well throw it away. Fuck around and find out. Fuck. This warlock was on my ass for fucking five minutes. <laughs> it's my turn, baby. The power of torch. <laughs> GG. Let's see what he has. Seems like he got sellable, so better quality, and that's pretty good. This. Yeah, we're actually. I feel like we already got maybe like six to eight hundred gold from this match, if not more. Also, we got a really good upgrade. Oh, yo! Speaking of upgrades. Yeah, I feel like we went past that already at this point, because we got a better chest. And we got a better blue starters. So that's something to work with at least. Chances are we find someone are really freaking low, I feel like. Speaking of. <laughs> we have the druid here. He's not the easiest target to kill, I'm gonna be honest. But I definitely would like to kill him. Ah understandable oh no this guy is getting cooked hard missed <laughs> oh no bro not like that fucking evil mage holy shit yo that thing will clap us we gotta be careful here he got slown down by that thing as well <laughs> he's not feeling it but I'm not feeling it either, so let me heal up first before we fight. It's actually fucking hilarious. Ow, what the fuck? That does a lot of damage. I would assume he has trends. Okay. I hit him once. The bear still does a lot of damage. Unless you have PDR, without PDR you get clapped. So just like, if you get headshotted by that thing, oh you don't want to get headshotted. Bro, this guy got some moves, I'm telling you, like, not capping. This is what exactly I was saying. The good root is gonna be such a pain ass to kill, because he can become a panther into a rat, into a bear. 
There's one thing that I want to test out, is the combination of um, Panther with the Dodge into a chicken. Into the... What the fuck? There's not a bear right here. Into um, a bear. Imagine, like, you become a fucking Panther, you dash. Oh shit, he's getting cooked. One more hit. GG. And there is one more guy that wants my cheeks. <laughs> he did the right thing. He killed that guy. I don't have much health to commit to a fight. Not until I'm full HP. No, I'm not gonna take it just yet. I hope there is no elevator. Because he simply will be able to get away. There is elevator. Oh fuck. <laughs> Cute bear. Ooh baby. That's what I'm talking about. We got some upgrades here for sure. Yeah. We got some cheese here. I don't have time for to pick up any of this because I'm not even sure what I want to get rid of honestly. <laughs> Well, I'll take Spear, because usually the Spear goes for 200 gold, it's like you can't miss that. And it's invisible quality. Wait a second, I don't have fucking time at all. Now, nah, let's just go. Alright, everybody. So, pretty much we made close to 1500 gold. And um, on top of that, we have um, probably another 1500 gold in items that we could sell. We started just with Fallen Axe, we have a full kit, and we have a lot of items for sale. So overall, I think we did pretty well. And uh, basically, these are the stats in the bottom left corner that you could see. I'm still trying to make sure that I have all the cheese on. And um, yeah, overall, I'd say the Barbarian is really good class, whether or not you have a lot of resources. And you can make around 100 gold in just one game if you literally don't bother looting anything, you know what I mean? And so basically, yeah. With this, I would say the video is complete. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments below whether or not you want to see this type of content in the future. Zero to Hero Barb is officially completed. <laughs> anyway, pretty much... This is a quick showcase of what my items looks like, it's Timo, and I'll see you in the dungeon, peace out.